welcome to bsc statistics students in this lesson i explain part 2 of birth rates in the in the part 1 explained cbr crude birth rate and general fertility rate gfr now in this uh, class i explain specific fertility rate a specific fertility rate total fertility rate now we start with specific fertility rate what is specific fertility rate uh, we know that generally uh, in the fertility is affected by various factors such as age marriage migration state or country of a particular region etc it will be different um, due to these factors and the fertility rate is computed with respect to any specific factor is known as specific fertility rate and is defined as you know, which means uh, specific fertility rate is going to be calculated is uh, with respect to any specific factor that which is known as specific fertility rate and uh, the formula of this specific fertility rate that is it is defined as sfr you see here the formula specific fertility rate sfr is equal to number of births to the female population of the specified section in a given time period divided by total female population in the specific section female population with is uh, within the age group of the reproductive age group child bearing age group into k k is usually considered as 1000 this is called specific fertility rate for any specific region we calculate that is nothing but of any for any particular specific section of the population uh of a in a particular given time period it is nothing but specific fertility rate now if we calculate a specific fertility rate as sfr this is nothing but specific fertility rate is calculated for the factor a in different age groups then it is called a specific fertility rate the study of fertility situation in a better way sfr should calculate for different age groups of reproductive age group in a particular of a reproductive age group that is child bearing age group you have to calculate the sfr separately for different age groups such fertility rate is known as that is the fertility rate compute computed on the basis of specific factor age is called age specific fertility rate age sfr the age specific fertility rate age sfr is denoted by n i x you see this is what the notation it is read as n i x i is nothing but uh, it indicates the specific fertility rate age specific fertility rate it is now it is going to be indicated with the n i x x to x plus n if you read in the age group x to x plus n uh, i indicates uh, this is birth rate or age specific fertility rate and in the age group x to x plus n is given by n i x is equal to this is read as n i x is equal to n b x n b x divided by uh, f n p x n this is n p x f n p x means female population n b x number of live births and the age group x to x plus n number of births in the age group x to x plus n divided by f n p x you can read uh, f n p x or n f p x whatever it is so f n p x is nothing but average female population in the age group x to x plus n in in the region during a given time period t that is nothing but f n p x so n p x is population f n p x is female population in the age group x to x plus n is k is equal to usually 1000 and uh, if n is equal to 1 and this formula becomes now i x is equal to b x by f p x into k it is known as annual age specific fertility rate annual age sfr that is for every year x to x plus 1 x plus 1 to x plus 2 x plus 1 to x plus 3 etc 15 to 16 16 years to 17 years etc like that so these are the age specific fertility rates in which now 
मेरिट्स एंड डी मेरिट्स ऑफ ए स्पेसिफिक फर्टिलिटी रेट एज एस एफ आर उसे और ऑफ द मेरिट्स द मेरिट्स आर गोइंग टू बी डिस्कस्ड हियर नाउ इफ यू डिस्कस मेरिट्स एज एस एफ आर इज ए प्रोबेबिलिटी रेशियो बिकॉज इन द डिनोमिनेटर वी हैव कंसिडर्ड एन एफ पी एक्स आर एफ पी एक्स इट इज नथिंग बट फीमेल पॉपुलेशन विच इज विच आर एबल टू प्रोड्यूस द children that is uh, which are in the child bearing age group or reproduction reproductive age group the, therefore it is a probability ratio here are the births are to be uh, taken from female birth are to be produced from the female birth therefore it is a probability ratio as sfr consider age composition of the woman so a specific fertility rate is going to be considered as age composition that in between any age group we can calculate this therefore it includes age factor it includes age factors so that is one such good comparative study right and it is suitable for comparative comparison between the age groups but only the comparison can be uh can be taken or can be uh, considered only comparison can be considered between the age factors only within the age factor only now i see that um, we read the demerits we study the demerits what are the demerits even a specific fertility rate is suitable for comparison of course it is suitable for comparison but comparison between two different regions cannot be easy since age sfr in certain age group will be higher in one region and may be lower in another region it may be higher in one region it may be lower in another region so therefore comparison is not easy hence it is difficult to compare between two regions or same region in two different time periods so that is the one of the drawback of this particular or demerit of this particular is sfr a specific fertility rate or simply specific fertility rate right now now for to overcome this particular drawback another measure uh, uh, taken place another measure uh, was discovered which is known as total fertility rate this is what the another fifth measure of uh, fertility rate or birth rates total fertility rate t called tfr to overcome the drawback of comparability with age specific fertility rates a fertility rate which is combined to age specific fertility rate age as a farce in different age groups together as a single quantity is known as total fertility rate that is called that is the reason why it is known as total total fertility rate that is we calculate age specific fertility rates uh, for different age groups and uh, which are getting together a single quantity and which which we add all the age specific fertility rates you will get total fertility rate so now the total fertility rate is an addition of annual age specific fertility rates is is given by tfr is nothing but an uh, addition of annual age specific fertility rates as sfr therefore tfr is going to be defined as tfr is equal to summation lambda 1 to lambda 2 ix what is ix a specific fertility rate annual a specific fertility rate is simply you want to define clearly annual a specific fertility rate that is x to x plus 1 and then x plus 1 to x plus 2 x plus 2 to x plus 3 and so on and so on that is 15 to 16 16 to 17 17 to 18 etc you can calculate for every year annual that is annual a specific fertility rates ix and if you add it summation lambda 1 to lambda 2 what is lambda 1 lambda 2 15 and 49 lower limit and upper limit of child bearing age group reproductive age group or or reproductive reproductive age group so now you say ix is annual a specific fertility drop cost multiplied by k it is nothing but summation lambda 1 to lambda 2 bx by fpx into k bx by fpx into k what is bx bx is nothing but number of births of a female in the age group x to x plus 1 that is what one year only x to x plus 
Then Fpx is total female population. In the age group x to x plus 1 is again. That is uh, annually we are calculating age specific fertility rates by taking number of births and female population in the age group x to x plus 1. If you multiply with k, you will get total fertility rate. That is where now I am expressing all the values here, all the terms here. Ix, annual age specific fertility rate, age SFR in the age group x to x plus 1. Now I see remaining terms. If you see the remaining terms, lambda 1, lambda 2 are lower and upper limits of the reproductive age group of female. Usually we consider lambda 1 is equal to 15, lambda 2 is equal to 49. That's what I expressed, expressed. And Bx, number of births to the female in the age group x to x plus 1. In a given region during time period t, Fpx, total female population in the age group x to x plus 1. In a given region during the time period t. So it is a female population in the age group x to x plus 1. Number of births in the age group x to x plus 1 to the female and k is usually 1000. Now TFR is also calculated by, you see this is what uh, another formula, TFR is equal to summation n into nix, that is uh, if you are not calculated annual age specific fertility rate, this is another formula of calculating age group, that is uh, of calculating uh, age specific fertility rates. Uh, in the age group, uh, in the different uh, age groups, uh, for in the intervals, for example, you consider 15 to 19, 20 to 25, uh, 20 to 24, 25 to 29, uh, 30 to 34, 35 to 39, etc. For uh, a 5 years of span, if you calculate age specific fertility rates, uh, uh, n summation n into nix we represent, nix is nothing but uh, a specific fertility rate in the age group x to x plus n, then which represent which is going to be represented by a specific fertility rate. This is nix, n into nix, because we are calculating for five years. Then five into five ix, nix a specific fertility rate in the age group x to x plus n. If we add this summation, n into nix is nothing but uh, total fertility rate. In particularly for quinquennial data. It is the quinquennial uh, age group. N is equal to considered as N is considered as 5 for each class. This is what the data is collected by the NSS, National Sample Survey. And so that uh, then the TFR is going to be calculated by summation 5 into 5ix or 5 into summation 5ix. This is what uh, uh, another calculation of TFR. So these are the uh, formula for the total fertility rate. The total fertility rate is going to be calculated in this way. So, it is simply you can remember that it is a addition of age specific fertility rates or annual age specific fertility rates or age specific fertility rates for 4 years or 5 years. Get together summation total addition, addition of the age annual age specific fertility rates or a specific fertility rates for different groups in different uh, age groups that is nothing but total fertility rate now it is going to be compared it is going to be used for comparative studies for any kind of comparative studies we can use this particular total fertility rate for comparison of the birth rates in any particular region or any particular other factor is going to be compared so these in this class we have studied specific fertility rate, SFR, A specific fertility rate, A's SFR and total fertility rate, TFR and which are nothing but uh, three other uh, both rates we have studied here. And uh, now we have learned total five both rates uh, we have studied in the both rates uh, topic. Thank you.